Everything is being recorded. Um, okay, so what we're going to talk about first is, uh, so I'm going to be talking about your notification settings and um, how to change your profile. Uh, some of you may know how to do this. If not, um, uh, then hopefully I'll be able to answer all your questions. Let me real quick start a timer so I know when 15 minutes starts. Oh, come on. My phone is being slow. Anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, like I said, if you have access to or if you found the presentation, it's, it's posted in a couple places. Um, you can follow along and anything that's blue underlined is a link so you, you can always go back and refer to that later if you need more help. Um, I'll try to answer any questions that you guys have, but if I haven't answered anything, then feel free to uh, either email me or um, any of the other presenters. Um, or uh, even better is uh, posting to the, the help Slack channel um, and asking questions because if you don't know how to do something, chances are other people don't either. Um, and so having that information available for everybody is a really good idea. Um, so let's do timer, 15 minutes. Oh, come on. I can let you know after 15 minutes if you oh, want. Okay. Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay. Okay. Gary, set a timer for 15 minutes. Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. So um, first things first is, is general account settings. Um, I just wanted to address this really quickly because I wasn't sure if everybody knew the different um, possibilities for how you can use Slack. There are a few options. Um, I know not everybody wants to be getting work notifications on their phone, but these are interesting times and maybe for the next few months, it might be an option for you if you don't wanna be sitting in front of your computer all the time. Um, but so there is a mobile option. You can download the app um, and get notifications on your phone, which also you can turn off. You can um, adjust those notifications separately from your computer so that you're not getting as many on your phone, only uh, the, the important ones. Um, but that is a possibility if you want to use it. Um, there's also a desktop. Um, so, so everyone can access Slack on web and uh, that's probably how you signed up for it but there's also a desktop application which you can see on my screen this is what I uh, am using so it's it's standalone you can open it outside of your web browser and, and use it separately um, and I find that kind of nice because it's one less tab to have to go through so it, you know like I can minimize it I can come back to it I can open it and close it separately from um, my my Chrome or, or my web browser so I find that to be really nice. Um, and then there's also email settings, um, which I'm gonna go a, a little bit more into. Actually, I guess, uh, I guess I'll do it from here. So um, in order to change your account settings, um, you go to pretty much anything that you're going to do, you're gonna start from up at the top in the left-hand corner here, um, where it says Coffee's DSC, and you're gonna click the drop-down menu um, and you can go to uh, preferences. And um, this is a little bit small, make it a little bit bigger. Um, so here you have notifications. And right now I have set to all new messages. Um, what I recommend that people do for less messaging, less notifications is that you um, set it to direct messages, mentions and keywords. So what this will do is that if anyone sends you a message separately, like not in a channel, then you'll get a notification about that. Um, and any, anytime someone mentions you, so you'll learn about this with Andres, I believe. Um, so if anyone does, like for me, it would be at Shay, I'll get a notification that someone specifically mentioned me in their comment. Um, and you can also set up keywords, which I'll talk about in a minute, where if someone uses a particular word, for example, I have mine set to, um, if anyone mentions admin, then I'll get a notification that someone was trying to uh, talk to the admin or uh, mention something about admin privileges or, or what have you so that I can go and respond to that even though it's not, they're not talking to me specifically. Um, so that's what I recommend for the least amount or amount of notifications while still getting those that are uh, important to you um, in general. Um, 
So you can see down here, also under notifications, there's the my keywords and here I have admin administrator. Anytime someone writes one of those keywords, I get notified. So for example, um, Jinwei, if somebody uh, writes helioseismology at any point, you'll get, like you could get a notification for that if you set that as one of your keywords. So, or, or like Todd, if someone uh, writes links or surface links or that sort of thing, um, you can get notifications there. Um, right. There's also this, so if you do decide to use the mobile app, you can choose to have different settings for your mobile device or not. Uh, if you don't want to use different settings, then it'll just take this direct messaging um, or whatever you choose, whether it's all messages or nothing. Um, uh, and you won't have to worry about setting those differently, but you can also choose this and then it will uh, allow you to, to have your mobile settings be different. Um, um, if you are, so this uh, threads, you'll learn about threads with Andres also, but so a thread is basically just a reply to a specific comment instead of uh, uh, in, into a channel or a direct message itself. So what I was talking about organizing conversations, um, that's one of the really nice ways in which to order conversation. But if you respond to someone's post with a thread or if someone mentions you in their post, um, it adds you to that conversation and that thread. And so you'll get notifications for those threads, but you can also mute them if you, uh, if you don't want continued notifications. Um, so I'll talk about that a little bit also. Um, so before getting into other things, so pretty much any preferences that you have, if you want to set sidebar settings, um, uh, your theme, you can see that mine might look a little bit different than yours because I've chosen this theme that has teal in it. Uh, you can uh, set that there. So these are all of your various preferences here. Uh, I cannot get to this. Um, okay, so um, how to mute a channel. So right now I'm in the general channel. Um, in order to mute a channel, you go to, so all of the channels have this I, this info button at the top, and you can go into it and you can um, see details about that specific channel. Um, so again, some of the stuff you'll learn about with Lisa, pinned items, that's sort of, like which members are in, everyone is a member of the general channel. But so if you want to mute the general channel and just that channel, so you don't want notifications from general, you can say mute channel by going, so you go to the info, you go to more, and there's this mute channel, and that's gonna be in any channel that you are a part of. So you can do that temporarily. You can also unmute from here. Um, so if, if people are having a lot of conversations in you know, one of the team channels that you're not particularly interested in, or if you're in a meeting and you keep getting notifications from that channel and you need to stop the notifications, you can go in and mute the channel specifically. Um, you can also say uh, specific notification settings for that channel. So you can say here, it says just at mentions, but if you click that, you can say every new message, you can say nothing at all. Um, and so again, you'll learn about at everyone and at here with Andres, but you can choose specifically whether to turn that on or off also. Um, and again, here it gives you the option to use different settings for your mobile. So if you want the notifications to be, keep coming through on your mobile because you silenced your phone or whatever, um, but you don't want them through the desktop, then that you have that option. So it's pretty nice um, and flexible, both in terms of which, which um, uh, whether you're using the browser or the desktop application or your phone, um, and it's also pretty flexible in terms of which channels you want to be paying attention to at any given time. Um, the other thing is, so if you are marked as away, let me see where, well, maybe I should just open it here. Um, so if you're marked as away, then you will get email notifications. So I just selected the link in the uh, mind map. And so this tells you how to configure email notifications. It says by default, you'll get notifications until you, uh, until you enable mobile notifications. And if you're not active, then you'll receive those emails. 
if someone mentions you, but you can, and it will bundle those notifications 15 minutes or once an hour, depending on your preferences. So you can go in and you can change these preferences. And this gives you, um, again, specific instructions on how to do that within your, uh, within your Slack account. So again, it's just going to um, this drop down menu again at the top, going to your preferences, it's in notifications, um, and then scrolling down. Um, you can set do not disturb everything. Everyone automatically has do not disturb set from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. So you will not get notifications at that time. You can change those for yourself if you want to. Um, but then it says when I'm not active, send notifications to, so for me, since I have mobile enacted um, or, or enabled, um, it'll send me mobile notifications, but I can also have it send me email notifications and I can choose how, how often I want those to occur. So that's all from the notifications uh, preferences menu. Anybody have any questions so far about that? Nope. Remember, uh, some of you are muted. So if you do have questions, you should be able to unmute yourself. Um, so the next thing is managing your profile. Um, so we recommend that everybody, um, five minutes left, Shane. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It should go pretty fast. So, um, managing your profile, um, we recommend that everybody choose a photo so that people know who it is that they're talking to. If someone has the same name, I don't really think that we are going to have that problem so much, but you know, if someone else happened to have the name Shay, then knowing which Shay you're talking to, everybody also should have their own individual um, ID or, or account name. So at Shay and then another Shay would be at Shay's last name. Um, but so we recommend that everybody, uh, just like with, uh, with Zoom, it's recommended that people use their video so that people can see each other's faces and know who they're talking to, um, that sort of thing. Um, uploading a photo is, uh, is a good idea just in terms of like feeling uh, more connected to the people that you're interacting with. Um, so again, uh, you go to the, the top drop down menu in order to access these things um, and you can go to view profile. That pops up what my current profile picture is, uh, several different options, what my, my listed phone number, which actually I should change because I'm not in my office right now. <laughs> uh, but so uh, the phone number that people can contact you at, um, you can make this public or not so that people don't necessarily see your phone number. Um, you can also, uh, uh, see what email address you're using at the time. You can set uh, an away status if, again, if you're in a meeting. Um, but if you want to edit any of this information, uh, you can edit profile. So you can change what your name is. You can change uh, your profile picture here, uh, your display name. So again, this is what your at mention should be. So mine is going to be at Shay instead of at my full name. Um, I've put the teams that I'm involved in here, but you can um, also put, you know, what research you're working on in particular, that sort of thing. I'll go ahead and change my phone number now while I'm thinking about it. Um, what time zone you're in, um, and you can also add more fields. So that's going to take you back to your web browser. Ah, only workspace admins can change this. Ah, okay. Well, maybe you can't do that, but if you have something that you would like to add, since I am an admin, um, I can go in and change things uh, for anybody or, or add fields if anybody needs to. Um, so does anyone have any questions about this stuff? It's pretty straightforward. Um, so in order to change your email address, that's a little bit more, in, uh, more work. So instead of just going to edit profile, you would want to go to this uh, additional drop-down menu um, and you can go to account settings. And again, that's gonna take you to the, the browser and you can change uh, additional settings here. So if you wanna change your email address, you could do that here. Um, if you want to change the language that uh, you use in Slack, so, um, you know, just again, not necessarily English, you can change it to one of uh, several. Um, you can, 
uh, well, yeah, you can change some notification settings here also. Um, it's a little bit easier, I think, to do it uh, through the drop down menu, but um, there are options here too if you need them. Um, and again, changing profile, this is actually going to open the same thing as this edit profile that I showed you before. So I'm just going to cancel that. All right, does anybody have any, I mean, again, it's pretty straightforward. If anybody has questions, feel free to ask. Um, it's probably the easiest part of what you're going to be looking at today. <laughs> And if there's no questions, then we can go ahead and head back out to the main room. Click the button out, right? Yeah, leave breakout room. I stopped my recording. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi. Uh, do we have Andres back yet? No. I don't think so. Okay. He sent a message saying that he was running a little behind. So. Yeah, I saw. Um, but sorry, I, uh, uh, Dan, your question. So um, it's it's linked to the coffee's machine dr shared drive, but in order, so you can access um, the files that are posted from that drive through Slack. Um, but if you wanted to post, like put anything um, into the Google Drive through Slack, you would need to connect your yes. Google Drive also, and that connects to all of your Google Drive. Um, so I know that you had said that you didn't really, at least was it maybe it was with Trello, you didn't want it to have access to your entire entire Google Drive. Well, that was Brian, but oh, oh yeah, okay, Brian. I kind of feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why they do it that way. I think it's more of a Google thing, I would think that they would allow you to only connect to like one specific folder, but I don't, I don't know how they do that. So. Shay, can I ask you a question that came up during our session? Yeah. Is there a way to actually delete a channel or you just leave a channel and it just stays there forever? No, or you, can there actually be deleted? You can actually, you can definitely delete a channel. So how would you do that? But no, do you have to have admin? I tried. I think you, you have, have to yeah, have admin. I don't have access to Right now, that. we cannot delete channels. Whoa. I think only, only we you. can fix you know what? I think that I think that's a setting that I have in place. Um, I can go in and change that. I'll, I'll make a note to change that. OK, I, I don't think it's necessary because people can leave, but um, leave a channel. But uh, I don't know if we need to be able to delete it. Yeah, so I, sort of what I, I was thinking um, when I, I now that you are saying that it's restricted, what I was thinking is that um, when we have these conversations, we may want to go back and look at what the conversation was. So deleting a channel, like you can leave a channel and if everyone leaves it, then that's fine. But right. the conversation is still there if you need exactly. to go back and access it. Exactly. So, okay. That's what I was thinking too. All right, great. Okay. Um, does anybody need any more time to go? Again, get more coffee, go to the bathroom. It looks like maybe a few people are still not out of the breakout rooms. Amy's still in hers. Can you pull her out? Uh, okay. We have Amy. Amy, do you need uh, any time before we move on? Or did you have any questions in general to ask? Oh, you're muted. But I think I think I, I think you said no. <laughs> I think you said no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess we will. Um, so everyone goes back to their same breakout rooms, and Lisa and Andres and I shift. So you don't have to worry about which breakout room to join. Okay. So I'm going to open all the rooms again. Oh. I don't accept your invitation. Yeah, correct? I don't either. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so Lisa, you were in breakout room one. Andres, mm -hmm. you were in two. Lisa, I'm moving you to two. And Andres, I'm moving you to three. No, move me to one so that people have already seen what a challenge, a challenge except that, is. Except that no, I, we need to rotate. I was She's already in one. three. Ah, okay, then it's fine. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, 
Sylvan, did you get a invitation? Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go. All right, Let's there we this. go. Uh, yeah, he had just left, I think. Yes. Yeah, okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, I am going to share my screen. Thomas. Oh, wait a second. Apparently, I did not send Andres to his new location. I will be right back. <laughs> 